Hi, I'm Tasia, And I'm Alia. And we are the duo behind the Firefly Method for Planners. We believe that every wedding planner deserves a profitable and sustainable business and the mentorship and guidance to get them there. Join us on this journey. Hello, welcome back to the channel. We wanted to talk a little bit about our favorite research tool, Google. <laughs> Google is amazing and we can't imagine what life was like before it. I mean, honestly, I really can't. The thing about building a business is that you're going to need more than just free tips and advice here and there. We've tried to do this, trust me. Really <laughs> We've have. tried to piece together bits from this site or a little tip from that site. And we've tried to, you know, work with those and make a system that works and it it fails every time. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's just so much work for so little outcome. Um, yeah. The amount of time that we spent in the beginning just researching and Googling, I mean, in the beginning, like Google barely existed. I don't yeah. even know, it was like, I was still looking at encyclopedias. We spent so much time researching and like Alia said, just like piecemealing together things. And I remember it would take us sometimes, like all, we would, you know, be all looking day. for all day. Yeah. And then we'd have those conversations. I'm sure you've had these where you're like, what happened to my day? Where did yeah. the day go? How did it possibly take me all day to just yeah. figure out what to put in a day of timeline? Yeah. Like I remember in the early days really figuring out what do people include in their packages? What do people use for a um, day of timeline? All of that stuff takes so much time and you're just kind of hoping that the people that you're getting information from are reputable. You're like, well, okay, I found this cool like list of like things to include in a day of timeline, but like, who are you getting it from? Like, has that person had any experience in the wedding industry? Is it just, you know, maybe one of the blogs that like, they might be missing a lot of stuff that actually like seasoned wedding planners yeah. know about, you know? Yeah. So it's like hoping that you're grabbing things from the right place, spending all of the time researching and still ending up with kind of like a piecemeal system. Or worse, finding things that kind of contradict each yeah. other where one person is really adamant about like, you should always do the processional this way. And right. another person is really adamant about doing it another way that would involve actually having the whole day configured in a different yeah. way. And you're like, okay, so which one is it? Like, what What's the I right do? one? Yeah. <laughs> we went through years of really trying to, as Tacey said, piecemeal it together, kind of pick and choose what is the right thing. And at the end of the day, not feeling confident about any of that. Finally, one day we started to ask for help. We started to find some mentorship. We started to actually pay for some help creating systems. We started to pay for some good advice, frankly. The kind of advice that we knew was from an authority, somebody who knew where we had been, where we were going, and could speak a little bit more clearly to our business. We've said this so many times, but there wasn't very much out there to help us, which is why we really do what we do, because we want to create more information out there for people so that you don't have to spend all the time Googling, so that you can get all of the information in one place from people that have been doing this for a long time, that have a lot of really valuable information that is based in reality, that is based yeah. in, you know. Actual doing. And, and I think a lot of the difference that we finally found between just Googling for random answers and actually paying for specific advice was that we were finding out how to do these like tips or tricks. Not just <laughs> finding the information, we were finding out how to implement the, in the information because when it comes down to it, that's really the hard part, right? That's why most people, some can, but most people can't, you know, watch, uh, video on how to build a house and then go build a house. Most people can't do that. They need more than just the information of like, well, you get some wood and you nail it here. They need to be shown how to implement the information that they've actually just learned. It took us such a long time to realize that that was the difference between getting something for free 
on Google <laughs> and actually paying was the implementation. So all this is to say that don't feel scared about actually investing in education for your business. Don't feel afraid like you should be doing everything for free and you should be doing all that hard leg work. Like skip some of those steps and really invest in your business. Are you ready to take your business to the next level and really start creating something that is sustainable and profitable? Then you are in luck because we have created a course just for wedding planners. These are the strategies that enabled us to start charging six figures for each client. They worked for us and we know they can work for you. So make sure to check it out. We're really excited to walk this business journey with you. See you soon.